This is the Shrimp Trawler Video Channel Stratomatic Baseball Excel Game of the Week. All right, let's get started. Game one of the World Series in Cincinnati. Jim Palmer, Tom Seaver, John Lowenstein will lead it off for the Orioles. 1-3 is a ground order to second. Rich Dower, 4-10, bounces a short. This is Concepcion, a 1-E25 at short, makes the play. And Ken Singleton, 2-6, base it. Doug DeSense, runner at first, two outs. 3-6, and here's the first big... Blast of the game. Let's take a look at the Sensei's card. He started this season red hot, was looking like an MVP at the All-Star break. Then he had a dismal second half and slumped along with the rest of the Orioles, which is why they barely made the playoffs as a wild card. But he could be back on to something here. 3-6 is a home run, and it's two zip Orioles. Eddie Murray, 58, is a K. Joe Morgan. 46, sky is the center. Tom Hutton, 54, center X. This is Blair, 1 13 in center field. Makes the catch. And George Foster, 56 is a K. All right, Carlos Lopez, 46 off of Seaver. Double 1 of 4 is a base hit for the ace stealer, but you got Johnny Bench. Two good throwing catchers, Dempsey and Bench. Paul Blair is your batter. And Blair's going to try a hit and run here. And he moves a runner up on the roll of a six. So a little inside baseball trying to push guys over for because you're going up against Tom Seaver. Runner at second, one out, Rick Dempsey. 59. Another ground ball to second. Now we got a runner at third with two outs for Mark Belanger. One six is a grounder to short. Bottom of two. Johnny Bench. 67. Double one to eight is a fly ball to center. Ken Griffey, 46, sky to center field. And with two outs, Jerry Turner, 1 8, is a sky to center field. Top of the third, John Lowenstein, 2 7, is a K. Rich Dower, 47, single 1 to 2, is a line out. And Ken Singleton, 1 5, let's say look at Singleton's car. The number three and four hitters for the Orioles connect early. Off of Seaver, and it's 3 nothing Orioles. Here is the Sensei again. 4 4 off of Seaver. His card, Homer 1 2 8 double. He misses the Homer by inches. And that's a double. And uh, there's some murmurs in Cincinnati as their ace is struggling. He's had a fantastic year for the Reds. And now it's Eddie Murray. 2 5. Let's take a look at Ed Murray's card. Triple 1 double. That is a double. And it is 4 0 O's. The Orioles, oh boy, don't want to talk about this too much, but two years ago in the Summer League of 2019, in a different timeline from uh, some 80, 80s cards mixed in with uh, 69, 70, and 71 cards, those Orioles in the 50th anniversary of the 1970 World Series, uh, they beat the Reds uh, four games to one. Well, actually, it was a four-game sweep, that's right. The original 1970 series, the Orioles won four games to one. But in this 50-year-old uh, coincidental recreation, the Orioles swept the Reds four straight. The Reds feel like they have got a lot of payback in them, and they're favored to win this, but they're currently down four zip in game one. Carlos Lopez, two fives, a grounder to short. And that's the end of the inning. Bottom of the third, Dave Concepcion, 210, is a fly to left. Cesar Geronimo, 56, bounces to second. This is Dower, a 2 8 at second base, makes the play. And Tommy Helms, 52, flies to left. Jim Palmer, 9 up and down. We go to the fourth. Paul Blair, 59, rolls to second. Rick Dempsey, 1 6, flies to left. And Mark Belanger, 1 7 is a K. Bottom of four, the Reds. Have not reached. Joe Morgan, 2-2. Oh, boy. This is not good. 
2-2, uh, fly ball right, B plus injury. Ouch. So, of course, the injured players just leave the game, come back the next day. Uh, make it simple for me as I do this with just 20-man rosters. So he's out, um, and they do have a utility player, Jack Brohammer, on the bench. But, boy, seeing him leave the game is not a good sign for the Reds. Tom Hutton, 1-6, is a K. And with two outs, it's George Foster, 57 off Palmer, is a K. We go to the fifth, 4-0 Orioles. Lowenstein, 67, is a K. Rich Dower, 2-6, pops the third. And Singleton, 38, is a walk. With two outs, it's a two-man show in Baltimore. They've reached base five times. Doug DeSensei. Make it six. Two, six. Doug to Sensei. Double to right field. Singleton and DeSensei's have destroyed Seaver today. A double to right field. Singleton, though, 12, 13, 14 runner. We have to look at Griffey's arm. It's a zero arm, so he has to run on a 14. And here's the throw to the plate, and he's thrown out on a 19. A nice play by Ken Griffey. Yeah, Singleton has to run in this situation. It's the... Home field advantage, if the road team uh, gets a 14 or better chance, they have to run on it, even if they want to hold up. But, throwing out the plate. Bottom of the fifth, Johnny Bench. See if this can spark the Reds. 1-3 for Bench. Grounds are short. Ken Griffey, 64 off of Palmer, and there's a shot into the gap. Triple, one to three, double. That is a double, and there's a smattering applause. There goes the perfect game. The perfecto is done. Uh, like you're really going to do a perfect game against the Reds, but anything can happen when they face the Orioles, it seems. Jerry Turner, 56, is a grounder to second. Dower is a 2 8 makes the play. Griffey goes to third. You really start using a run here. Start chipping away at the deficit. Concepcion, though, 57 is a strikeout. One blemish on a perfect day for Palmer through five. We go to the sixth inning. Before that, though, let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Eddie Murray, 67, is a K. Carlos Lopez, 1-8, is a base hit. Ace Steeler against Bench, and Blair's going to hit and run again. Something they Orioles don't do much of. Moves the runner up. So you have a runner in scoring position with two outs. For Rick Dempsey, 46 off a Seaver. Double one to four, single dot dot, and that's an RBI single. So... A little inside baseball. He tried it in a second. It didn't work, but it works here, and it's now 5-zip. Mark Belanger. 59 off Seaver is a grounder to second. All right, Red's got to get it going. Bottom of the six. Cesar Geronimo. 64 off that same roll. Griffey roll. Triple, one, to three, double. That's a double. Same thing. Two of the last four hitters have reached off the Palmer card. Tommy Helms. 2-2, two, two. fly ball to left, B plus injury. And folks, the Reds are losing infielders left and right. Now we got a problem. We don't have enough guys to go play everywhere. We need a second baseman, a third baseman, and a shortstop. And oh my goodness, we're going to have to put Johnny Bench at third base. Helms is hurt, Morgan is hurt. Brohammer will play second, Bench will play third, and I guess Steve Nikosha will be the new catcher. This is terrible. Fortunately, though, these injuries, again, are just for the rest of the game. So here is Jack Brohammer, and now in the leadoff spot. 39, let's take a look at the Brohammer card. Fill it in for Joe Morgan. Base hit left field for Brohammer. And Geronimo, 16 runner, but down five is not going to risk it. Runners in the corners, one out, and Tom Hutton. 111 is a crushing 111 363 double play that hurts a lot. Not the Reds' day. Top of the seventh. It'll be Lowenstein for the Orioles. 2 9, double 1 to 7 is a base hit. Rich Dower will hit and run. Runner has to steal. 
as a seven is rolled, and when he rolls a four, uh, he's going to be safe. And again, you have Nikosha has to catch now, so now the Orioles will, will want to steal more. Nikosha filling in for the injury to, and moving bench to third. Nikosha is a zero arm catcher. Rich Dower, runner at second, nobody out. Might want to bunt here. He's going to bunt. I rarely, I rarely bunt with a B bunter with a runner at second, nobody out for a road team. And it is barely good. B bunters to nine, A bunters to ten. So he gets Lowenstein up to third with one out, and that brings the infield up for Singleton and the Senseis, who are perfect today. Here's the pitch to Singleton. Four ten off Seavers, a grounder to short. Concepcion needs to field this one, and he does. The runner holds, and they move the infield back with two outs for the Sensei. And 67 is a strikeout. Seaver gets him. Seaver and Palmer are starter nines. We might just see them never leave a game. <laughs> so, stretch time here in Cincinnati for Game 1 of the World Series. We are listening to Bootsy Collins. What's a telephone bill from the Ah, the name is Bootsy Baby LP of 1977. Big Cincinnati Reds fan. Okay. Um, bottom of the seventh. That is George Foster, leading off for the Reds. 56 is a K. Johnny Bench, 54, center X. This is Blair, 1E13, high E rating for him. But he makes the catch. Later in his career, he had high E ratings, but got to everything with his range. And with two outs, it's Griffey. 1-8 is a sky to center field. Jim Palmer, out dueling Seaver in Cincinnati. Five zip into the eighth. There's no real reason to pull Seaver. I mean, he's still going to pitch on three days rest in game four, regardless of how many innings he pitches today. So there's no reason to tax the bullpen if you don't have to. So it's Eddie Murray in the eighth. 54, bounce to third. And that's Johnny Bench at third. He's a 40-37. And that's going to be a double. Pass Bench, who had no intentions of playing third base today. But there he is, a two-base hit. Carlos Lopez on twice. 43, left X. This is Foster. He's a three in left field, and he makes the catch. Paul Blair gets a swing away for once. 54, third X again. Another ground ball to Johnny Bench at third, filling in for the injured um, catch, uh, the injured uh, Tommy Helms. And that is an error this time on the E37. So both runners on base. Hitting screeching balls past bench. Up and hold, one out, Rick Dempsey. 46 off of Seaver, double one of four, single dot dot. I hope the Reds are getting an out of their system today. Remember they had an eight game winning streak. So if they fold up today in game one, then they can come back and start a four game winning streak. That's gotta be the theory here for Cincinnati, that they beat the Orioles four games to one and then they get blown out today. Runs with the corners, one out, they still bring it up for Belanger. 34, pops the third. And with two outs, Lowenstein. 67 is a K. Six zip, Palmer. Looking for a CGSO in the eighth. It's Jerry Turner, 53, rolls to first. Dave Concepcion, 53, right X. Lopez, 3E10 in right field. And that is caught. And Geronimo, 2-5, third. We go to the ninth. Rich Dower. 33. Pop the second. Singleton. A single. He's reached four times. The Sensei. 411. Center X. Geronimo is a one. And with two outs. It's Ed Murray. A ground to third. Bottom of the ninth. Six nothing. No defense to bring in for the Orioles. As Palmer goes for a two three hit shutout. It'll be Steve Nicosia leading it off. 1-8 is a double to left field. Off his own card. Jack Brohammer. 69 off Palmer's a walk, and there are two men on with nobody out. Throwing a shutout. <clears throat> we'll break him to get him out of there if needed. Tom Hutton. 57 is a K because he's not broken. He's a starter nine. He's on his way to being broke. But you need one more base runner for that particular dice roll to be a single. 
Here's the dangerous George Foster. 2-9 is a 6-4-3. Double play. Perfect storm for the Orioles. One of the least competitive games in the postseason I've played. The Orioles defeat the Reds 6 to zip in Game 1. We'll do a quick box, and we'll continue the World Series in a separate video. Seaver loses, giving up 13 hits and 6 runs. Probably didn't need to leave him in there that long, but getting a little lazy this late in the year, knowing that uh, there's only 7 games left. Jim Palmer gets the win. 4 hits. Walk six strikeouts in his complete game. 1 0 9, 0 1 9, 6 13 4, 1 7 1 6. That is World Series Game 1, Baltimore, Cincinnati. Let's see, we'll take a peek at the year to date numbers for the two squads. Baltimore getting hot. They uh, look pretty good at the end of that Angel series. The Reds were lightning hot, and now they needed a little cool-off period. Hopefully it doesn't last longer than a single game. So the two squads here. They both had to play in the wild card round. But the Reds got through the Divisional and League Championship Series in a minimal number of games, while the Orioles were taxed against the Ohio players and the Angels. So the Reds are now 27 and 13 on the year, hitting 268 with a 350 team ERA. 27 wins, 14 games over 500. The Orioles are 25 and 18, hitting 243. That number is starting to creep up a bit. It was in the 230s with a 307 ERA. Jim Palmer improves to 8 and 4. And DeSensei got his 12th home run and 32 RBIs. Uh, I forgot to check uh, old Tom Seaver's record. So Seaver falls to 9-4 and four on the year. His ERA, though, is still 2.82 after giving up six runs. So he's having a fantastic year. That's it today from Game 1 of the World Series. Tune in next time for Game Number 2. Thanks for checking it out.